The following is a production of Learfield Sports. The Badgers' annual in-state round robin is underway. Games this past week at the Cole Center against the Milwaukee Panthers and the Marquette Golden Eagles. We'll check out the highlights from those two games. We'll also hear from former Badger player and assistant coach Howard Moore about life in television. Yes, Howard, a member of the Big Ten Network family these days. We'll also check in with Charlie Thomas, one of the freshmen in the Badgers front line. And of course, we'll have our weekly conversation with head coach Bo Ryan. All coming up on today's edition of the Badger Sports Report. Keep it half high on the right. Couple of dribbles now working on Fisher. Half left lane line turns, goes up right hand. Yes! Ethan Hap! Hayes backing out the Vito Brown. Left of the circle jumper. Too hard, no good. Read on Hayes out to Koenig. Open three right of the circle. Book. Koenig with a huge triple. Badgers down two. Hayes high on the right. On the dribble, slips to the Vito Brown. Baseline right, 10 footer. Tie game! It's always frustrating when you lose games, but. You know, we're trying to, to learn as much as we can from these losses. Not that you need to lose to learn, but uh, with the results of those being losses these, in these close games, that um, we see what we're capable of doing. And in each one of these losses, we see a stretch where this is the basketball we're supposed to play. These are the principles and fundamentals we're supposed to apply. And then we look at the entirety of the game, and then we see we didn't do that. So if we can try and channel some of those spurts that we have in these losses, and find a way to put that into an entire game. Um, like I said, we'll definitely be a much better team. This is Wisconsin basketball. 10 seconds left in the half. They spread the floor. Kane against Tate. Six seconds. Kane drives the lane. Up and in. Nigel Hayes from distance to the right side. They will return to the final four. The Wisconsin Badgers are champions of the Big Ten Conference. Showwater down the lane, way up good. The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Quick Trip. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. hy V. And by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics. I'm Coach Bo Ryan, and I'm proud to say I drive a Buick from Zimbrick. Buick's full line of sedans, crossovers, and SUVs get you there in style. Fresh, modern styling combined with high-tech features make the Buick Coach Ryan's choice. No matter what the season, you'll always get a great deal at Zimbrick Buick. Zimbrick Buick is a proud partner of Wisconsin Athletics. Visit the winning team at Zimbrick Buick today. Here's to the Daily Navigator, the hard charger of a thousand tasks. At Quick Trip, we're dedicated to bringing you good fresh food without a middleman's markup, just steps from your car. Delivered daily, so it's always fresh, always low priced, always in a jiffy. For a limited time, pick up a pound of Nature's Touch Butter for $2.99 or a dozen Great A large eggs for $1.59. Quick Trip, big on fresh, low on price. Three Band-Aids. Two Band-Aids. Three Band-Aids. At UW Health, we specialize in performing the most complex of procedures through the smallest of incisions. These minimally invasive surgeries mean our patients heal faster, scar less, and are back to their lives that much sooner. One Band-Aid. UW Health. Remarkable. Brown at the top, and they try to go high-low. Tough pass, nice gather by Hap. He'll throw left corner to Hayes. Beats Showalter, slashing to the rim. Up left hand, good. Showalter on the attack. 
One of the things we talked about in uh, one of the pregame interviews earlier in the week was uh, the coaching tree. You know, obviously, uh, Rob Jeter now in his 11th year at, at Milwaukee. You have Saul Phillips, your son, Will Ryan on the staff, and, and there are many others who are head coaches or assistant coaches. I know in the season it's about the next day, getting your guys ready, getting your guys better, but can you spare yourself a couple of minutes, even in the season, kind of take a look around and go, this is, this is all right here, and checking the scores on your phone, seeing how those guys are doing? Well, I do, you know, and also the ones that are, in, that are coaching in high school. I, I've yeah. never measured the success of any former players or coach, assistant coaches by the job that they get or what level. I've always uh, measured it by uh, their enthusiasm, their, uh, their ability to get players better, their ability to stay to the task. Uh, and to watch their programs, watch their programs grow, and to have them watch their players grow. Uh, that's, that's always neat. And that's, uh, that's something you can do from afar when you're always checking uh, on the Internet with these teams and the information that's out there, and you get a chance to see some of them on TV. Um, so uh, to have people who love the game and, and as a result of maybe having some, spent some time with uh, myself as the head coach or as an assistant, whatever, uh, over the years, that it, it is gratifying to know that there are people that loved it enough to want to make it their vocation. I thought Rob, Rob Jeter had a great comment. Uh, he said many, but after, after the game on Wednesday night, he, he was telling the media that you know, when, you're, when you're facing somebody, and I think I can say you two are very good friends now. I mean, you were the coach, he was the player, you were the coach, he was the assistant coach. But uh, Rob, he said something to the effect of, you know, the way you, you honor when you play, when your team goes up against your mentor's team, is to play the game the way you taught it. And, and he was, you know, his emotions were mixed. Obviously, he was happy, thrilled with the win, but he won. Kind of, you taught him too well, maybe is what it was. He, he took notes, and he, he's got a nice team. He's assembled quite the group this year. I really like uh, once they get the new player that uh, they added uh, the day of the game uh, in, into the mix more because he's a very talented player. Um, they have a combination with size, outside shooting. Um, it kind of reminded me of some of the teams that we've had uh, or that I've had a chance to coach with bigs that can shoot, with a quick little point guard that makes good decisions. And, you know, that's uh, when you get that combination, sometimes you just know it. And he, he knows it this year that uh, once they hit that horizon league, and they already have done pretty well and played people tough, they had a chance to beat Notre Dame. Uh, earlier in the year, so yeah, he's he's learned a lot over the years, and he's uh, he's learned a lot simply by the way he's done things, and he's learned from you know what to do and what not to do uh, on his own, quite, which we all do. I'm still <laughs> learning, of course. So um, yeah, it was a it was a great win for him, having coached at Milwaukee for a couple of years. Uh, the in-state rivalry games, we keep talking to people about how tough they can be, and uh, but I don't think this year's uh, game was as um, as far as level uh, with the maturity of his team and uh, you know where they are right now he, he's he's in pretty good shape remember, and, uh, yeah. he, he's going to have a good year remember talking to people connected with the program last year and even last year they're saying you know we're going to we're going to do what we can make this team as good as we can referring to last year but this was the year they were kind of like okay got a shot here some players Definitely that hadn't shot. played that were either redshirting or injured um, and some people that develop later in the year because we shot lights out there last year. We, hmm. um, and then when you get down that far, 20 some, uh, 30, whatever it was, um, it's very hard to come back. They, we, we couldn't get stretched out enough when we made a couple of our runs to, to discourage them enough. Um, and with the way they shoot threes, they can come back in no time. Yeah, the great, the great equalizer, you yep. say, the three-point shot. Going back to Robbie, you know, it's his 11th year, and, and Saul's been coaching for quite a while now. And again, as you said, it doesn't matter if it's, if it's college, high school, whatever. But what advice would you have you passed along, would you pass along to some, some young man who's saying, okay, look, I, I want to get into this. I'm really I'm committed to it. What can you tell me? Well, you talk about all the summers with working basketball camps. You talk about networking. You talk about the love of the game and, and uh, trying to get in your mind that if you do become a head coach, what is it that you would run offensively? What is it you would do defensively? 
and sometimes you have to mix and match. Sometimes you have to do things. Uh, but to develop a system that will continually have tweaks, to me, has always proven to be the best route to go, rather than being someone who changes every year. Yeah. Um, because if you build through fundamentals, then overall, over a long period of time, your teams are going to tend to be more successful, and you're going to have more fun with it, and you're going to have student uh, athletes that you're coaching and teaching uh, feel a lot better about themselves. All right. I imagine a lot of your guys will listen to that advice, doing well, and if it's the, if it's in basketball I, or whatever. I hope so. so. Absolutely. Coach Ryan returns in a few minutes with this week's installment of the Great Dane Great Question of the Week as the Badger Sports Report continues. Taylor with 3.9 seconds to play. He'll launch it for three at the horn. He got it. They're going to the Final Four. He'll hoist one up. He hit it. Don't break him up. Taylor's on fire. March 10th, 2007, the United Center in Chicago for the Big Ten Tournament semifinal, the Badgers facing Illinois. Senior Orlando Tucker enters the game just one point short of Michael Finley's all-time mark of 2147, and it didn't take him long to become number one. Now a bounce into Chapel, bobbles and gathers, baseline left, feeds Tucker, slashes off the left wing of the lane, hand shoots, hits for time. And with that shot, Orlando Tucker has become Wisconsin's all-time career scoring leader. Tucker was the 2007 Big Ten Player of the Year and just the third consensus first-team All-American in Badger history. He finished his career with 2,217 points. That remains number one today. With all those points, a little surprising that Tucker scored more than 30 points in just two games for the Badgers. Car paint that gets developing nations on the grid Working together, our discoveries are greater. Boundless together. Subatomic particles that hold the universe's biggest secrets. Working together, our discoveries are greater. Boundless together. It's a 10-point Penn State lead. It's the State Farm Halftime Report, and it's a chance for us to introduce ourselves. I'm Mike Hall. This is the Hall of Famer from the Sporting News, Mike DeCourcy. And this, our newest friend on the network, Howard Moore, former Badger. Good to have you here, buddy. It's great to be here, my friend. How is it different from being you know, in, in a coach's suit to, to being in a shirt and tie on TV? Well, I'll tell you, the one thing is you're going to be undefeated every night. So that's the one part. You know, and, and nights you know, when it's, um, you, know, you wind up on the wrong side of the score, that's the nights where you just kind of feel like you're lucky you're not coaching. But you know, I'm a coach. It's in my system. It's in my blood. Um, but this is going to be fun as far as just you know, watching the Big Ten from a distance, being a fan and an analyst and giving my opinion on things and, you know, and just watching how the season unfolds. So it's, uh, it's early, but uh, it's going to be fun to watch. Does it help to have the, the insight, the, the background to go on and, and talk about the game? Yeah, it does, you know, because, you know, you've you spent so many years and, you know, watching teams and trying to, you know, figure out how to stop them and how you're going to score against them and, you know, trying to play chess while they're playing checkers, as coach would say. Um, you know, so all that, you know, strategy and things come into play. And, you know, when you watch other teams try to, you know, run their stuff or try to stop you, there's so much strategy that goes into that. So it'll be fun to just kind of give my perspective on how people do things and see how it all comes together. You're wearing the, the Motion W, but you've got to talk about the entire conference. Yeah. How, how excited are you, though, to talk about Big Ten basketball? I'm excited. I'm super excited because, you know, this is my home conference. This is where I grew up. This is where I played. And, you know, and then it came back and be a coach. So it's going to be exciting from that standpoint. And, uh, you know, just to see how the team is, the leagues have uh, expanded. I mean, yeah, you got... You know, you got Maryland in the league now, and you got Nebraska and Rutgers. So, you know, it's, it's fun to see how the league has really evolved and um, and then seeing all the, the great coaches from coast to coast. So it, it'll be fun. And obviously, I'm, I'm always going to be a little bit of a favorite to the, for the Badgers. So I'll be, you know, showing a little bit of favoritism that way. But that's what the Big Ten Network is all about. you got a lot of former athletes, you know, working on the network. And, you know, you got Brandon Williams on the football side, and he's, he's, he's showing his favoritism for Bucky. And, um, but that's the fun part of the league. 
Let's talk about Bucky. Uh, Bronson and Nigel, obviously big parts of last year's team. Yes. What do you see for them this year? Well, bigger roles. You know, obviously they've got to be the, the leaders. They've got to be the ones that step up on both ends. You know, and you're going to see situations where, you know, um, you know, when one of them is struggling a little bit, the other one's got to pick it up. But I tell you what, if we got them both rolling at the same time, we'll be difficult to stop. And, um, you know, we need, you know, guys like Showalter and Brown and, you know, guys that have been around a little bit to, you know, step up and help lead these young guys. You know, I think Iverson and Thomas and Happ are going to be tremendous players in this program. Uh, but we need the older guys to, you know, step up and show their, um, you know, show their, uh, their experience. And, uh, and I, I'm sure they'll do that for sure. And as a, a former Badger yourself, mm -hmm seeing that banner go up there. What is the, the pride that, that you feel when something like that goes up there? You know, it's, it's great. You know, to be a part of a couple of championship teams on the staff uh, was great. Um, you know, I wasn't here to experience the Final Four experiences, but, you know, a lot of the imprint of what I tried to help uh, was in place there. And so, you know, a lot of the guys that I helped recruit and Ben Brust and, you know, Duye Dukin and Frank Kaminsky, obviously, you know, I still felt a part of that, you know. And when we went to the first Final Four, I probably cried like a baby. Uh, the second one, I expected it, so it felt pretty good. But, you know, I, I cried after we lost to Duke. <laughs> and, um, you know, but to see that banner go up, it's, it's special. And that's a lifetime thing. And to see my kids experience that with me, you know, was pretty special as well. I think the biggest thing about the Big Ten is just the tradition, um, the great coaching, and everything that comes with that. So, you know, it's, it's a tremendous league, as we know. But it, it's everything else. It's the people, the players, the coaches, the administrators, everything that makes the Big Ten what it is. We've got a great leader in Jim Delaney. He's been around a long time. And he knows his deal, and he's, he's always thinking about next, trying to make the league better and, and expanding and doing things like the Big Ten Network. So, you know, we were in a great position as a league, and uh, I'm excited to be a part of it again. So you're, you're stepping away from coaching, but will you ever really be out of it? No, because I'll still be watching, you know, film, and I'll still be doing scouting reports. I just don't have to figure out how to stop Maryland or Michigan State. So, uh, and then no recruiting. So, uh, but I'll, I'll still be, you know, thinking as a coach, how would I stop this team? How would I do this and that? And, you know, just always think that in the back of your mind and staying sharp. But uh, the biggest thing is uh, I'm going to enjoy just observing and being a fan this year. And like I mentioned, I'm going to really enjoy being undefeated this season. <laughs>
now that I'm actually getting playing time, just improving everything I need to do, all the little things to stay out there and help the team out. What are some of the things that you have been working on, you know, top of your mind, this is what I need to do to get back out there on the court? For work on defense, that's pretty much the main thing because uh, these guards are a lot faster now, people are a lot bigger, got to learn how to defend more. And um, I think that's one thing I need to improve, and we all do. Defense a little more complicated on this level than you've played or had to play in the past? Oh, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Guys are a lot quicker. You need to react faster to guys coming off screens and getting back unless you will get burned or somebody will score on you. So uh, I think that's the biggest adjustment uh, we've had to make, I've had to make. You guys have had some ups and downs already. What's it like as a, as a freshman to kind of go through them, but not get too high or, or too low. Yeah, I mean, you can't really let anything get to you. I mean, you just have to keep uh, focusing on working hard and just uh, keeping your mind right, because you can't get frustrated about all the little things. I mean, if you lose a game, you make a mistake, just get over it, get back on defense. Lose a game, just get prepared for the next one. You can't really think about, think about anything too much. What, what guys uh, on the team have kind of helped put that mindset together, or helped you guys kind of realize that? Uh, definitely Nigel and Bronson, the upperclassmen. They kind of set the tone for everybody else and the lower classmen too. I mean, those guys have definitely had experience uh, over these years with the final past two Final Fours. And um, they're just trying to teach all, me and the young guys, uh, everybody else, how to do it. It's definitely different. I mean, uh, you're not used to mom's home-cooked meals anymore. So, uh, I mean, it's definitely a, a big difference with schoolwork. I mean, you meet a lot of new people. I'm having a great time. and. Um, Playing on the basketball team is awesome. I mean, I'm just loving the whole college experience so far. Was there as big a jump academically as there was basketball-wise? Uh, Academically-wise, there wasn't as much of a jump because, I mean, I went to a pretty good high school where academics were uh, emphasized very well. So I think basketball was more of a jump from uh, the level of competition especially. And, uh, I think that was basketball was the main thing that, that was really standing out to me. Do you have a highlight for your for your season, for your, your career so far? Is there something that you say, man, that, I'm, I'm proud of, of that? Um, I'm just proud of being playing, getting the opportunity to play with these guys every day. That's, some, that's, my, biggest, uh, that's my biggest thing. Oh, what fun it is. Nissan's holiday event for the season's best offers. Right now, lease Altima, just $179 per month. Or get a $139 per month lease on Sentra. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers. Some call it a miracle. Others call it science. But for those who've needed a kidney transplant like Kelly Krager, they simply call it a new lease on life. For nearly five decades, UW Health and the University of Wisconsin have been national leaders in the field of kidney transplant, providing a new life for recipients and assuring a normal life for living donors. Miracle? Science? Maybe it's a little bit of both. UW Health. Remarkable. Whether you're out there training for a big event or you're just trying to stay in shape, I have a bit of advice. It's important to remember that what happens after the workout is just as important as what happens during the workout. My advice, be sure to refuel with low-fat chocolate milk. It has the perfect mixture of protein, carbs, and electrolytes to help you refuel, rehydrate, and build muscle. In Wisconsin, athletes win with low-fat chocolate milk. And you can too. To learn more, visit winwithchocolatemilk.com. Game night. That magical weekly gathering where lands are conquered. And you get trapped in the dungeon that is your bedroom. But you've got blazing fast spectrum internet. So Kevin and his friends have enough bandwidth to play together. And you have enough left over to find a new apartment. Get 60 megabits of dragon slaying speed with spectrum internet. Where will it take you? The Badger Sports Report with Bo Ryan is brought to you by Charter Communications. By the Dairy Farm Families of Wisconsin, the Wisconsin Milk Marketing Board. Quick Trip. By Zimbrick Buick GMC. hy V. And by UW Health a cornerstone partner of Wisconsin Athletics.
Time now for this week's Great Day and Great Question of the Week. And with this week's question is Tony from Two Rivers, who's obviously one of many paying attention. He has noticed your former coach, Ron Rainey, has been around here in recent days. And uh, wants to know, is, is Coach Rainey still coaching you after all these years? Well, Coach Rainey always offers advice. <laughs> uh, and, and you don't have to be one of his former players <laughs> to get that. Um, He's, uh, he's just always been a, a character, so to speak. Um, he's one of those guys that everybody likes. Uh, was a tough competitor when he played in the 50s. All the stories I heard about him that he doesn't know, <laughs> that I know. Um, he's a very good baseball player and basketball player. He was, uh, his team went to the College World Series at Penn State when he played there. He always told me he scored, he jokingly says, yeah, I had 41 against Jerry West when we played West Virginia. <laughs> And, I, and, of course, I'd always ask, well, how many did Jerry West have? He said 42. It was always one more. One Jerry more. West always had one more. <laughs> Coach Rainey is just one of those guys that loves the game, loves to the, loves the follow um, all the guys that, he, that he's coached and all the, all the different activities. And having him as a house guest, um, he said he's already gained 10 pounds due to, uh, <laughs> due to all the good food around the house. And, uh, but he's, uh, he's not coaching me directly. He always coaches indirectly. <laughs> there you go. That is a good <laughs> answer. We thank you for your question. The Great Dane with four locations in Madison, east side of town, downtown, Fitchburg, as well as Hilldale, and, of course, the Great Dane up in Wausau as well. The Badgers back on the floor. The homestand continues on Tuesday night when they take on Texas A&M Corpus Christi. The Islanders coming to Cole Center. And then this thing called finals coming up. Badgers will be uh, taking a little break from the games, but break would not be the right word. They have the final examinations coming up and then back on the floor the following week. I invite you to join us next week as we continue with this season's editions of the Badgers Sports Report. Thanks for watching. In order to perform procedures others cannot perform, we sometimes need to look where others cannot look, to see what others cannot see, which is exactly why the American Family Children's Hospital created the most technologically advanced imaging pavilion in the country. You see, better imaging for our pediatric specialists means better outcomes for our patients. Just ask Madison. UW Health. Remarkable. You're going to flip for the all-new Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Plus Perks Card. Now, when you get the new Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Plus Perks Card, you get the same big savings on gas, plus perks like special deals on your favorite products, cash prizes, or gift cards, maybe even a new car or an all-expenses-paid trip. And getting your new card is easy. Just pick one up at Hy-Vee, go online to activate it, and start earning your perks. It's that simple. Get your new Hy-Vee Fuel Saver Plus Perks Card today. Season's best offers. Right now, lease Altima, just $179 per month. Or get a $139 per month lease on Centra. Get to Nissan, proud partner of the Wisconsin Badgers.